Hi guys! Um, so today this is a 10 by 20 canvas and I had seen something that I really liked which was very clean. It had black and white and it kind of reminded me of, you know, yin and yang sort of a thing. So I thought I would try it. It's not something I've ever done before. But I really would like to start doing some pieces with more negative space. Um, it's not something I do very often and I don't work with black that often. So this was all the way around, just kind of a new challenge for me. Um, I already started the top with a white base, but the bottom, I it was just the canvas and I used a Mars Black, just like a regular Artist Loft uh, Mars Black. I really do like Artist Loft Flow Acrylics uh, too. I, th I, I just think they're really nice. Um, then I put, this is the Golden Fluid Gold. I don't have the steadiest hand in the world. <laughs> so. I had to take my time on this one, but um, I used the gold in a squeeze bottle and it's just mixed with my normal mix. If you ever want to see how I mix my paints, I do have a paint mixing tutorial that I'll try to link here. Um, then I followed up with the high flow gold because I've kind of been stuck on the high flow acrylics by Golden for quite some time. I wasn't sure what was going to happen because you know, a lot of times when you put the high flow, it makes those dendrites, those fractals, which is really pretty, and I do like it. I wasn't necessarily going for big fractals, and what ended up happening is the paints were so thick, the white was so thick, the black was so thick, I really didn't get a lot of fractals on this one, which was just fine with me. And then I just did a normal a dirty cup. So this is basically um, a few different shades of blue, turquoise. It's kind of my little weirdo color palette. I use my um, burnt orange in there by Golden, which I really love. Um, so it's orange and white and two or three different shades of blue. And I think there might be some thalo green in there, if I remember correctly. I did this painting quite a while back, um, but I just never put the video up, so I wanted to go ahead and show it. Um, I wasn't sure, sure where I was going to go with this. Uh, you can see I... Uh, there's me being frustrated. I was like, ugh. I dropped some white paint on the black and the black was like totally perfect but you know you can always pick that stuff out I think the best thing the best tool for me is two toothpicks in this case I had one toothpick and my little palette knife and I rescued that painting but um, you know I wasn't sure where I was gonna go with this I had made a smaller piece that I may decide to show the video on at some point. It was a tester for this larger piece. And I liked the way it turned out. It maybe wasn't my absolute favorite, but you know, this is what I'm learning about art is just because it's not your absolute favorite doesn't mean someone else doesn't absolutely love it. Um, then I got my airbrush out. You can see my paint consistency is quite thick. And initially I wanted to like preserve some of those white lines towards the bottom. So I just wanted to use my airbrush to hit the outer edge and kind of get some of those beautiful um, loops, you know, some messy looking loops so the color would spatter. Yeah, there we go, spatter. <laughs> You know, I do have to protect my wall. I live in a rental and I'm telling you, I have to be so careful and it is hard not to get paint everywhere. I'm sure you understand your studio. I would love to be just a really messy painter. I would love to have a studio separate from the house and just go to town, but I do have to kind of try to be careful. But anyway, after I had done that, I was, I really wanted more of you know some of the oranges and stuff to come through and um, so I went back and 
added a few more. So on the one hand, I did mess up the white, um, I was going to call it naked space, <laughs> negative space with the colors, but then I kind of like the movement of it too. It's pretty dramatic. So I swap this, I turn this around and there was just something missing with this. I cannot tell you what it was. Like as it began to dry, um, I really started noticing the thickness of the paint where the lines were, that came, the poured lines that came out of the cup was too great in the center. We had the convergence of the black and white, the two kinds of gold, and then the whole poured cup. And I just realized, I'm like, you know, I'm really risking this cracking. And I know I say that a lot, but I don't ever have paint uh, paintings that crack because I take the time to manipulate the paint. And sometimes that means losing things, changing things, or whatever. So what happened with this painting after, at this point, I set it off to dry and then went back to check on it maybe 20 minutes to an hour later and realized there was just too much paint in the center and I was gonna have to do something. So what I ended up doing was a controlled swipe. So that part is off camera, but I really like the way it turned out. I like this way too and, and I, of course I wish I could have kept it this way. Um, next time I would plan better and put less paint down the center but um, I want to show you the results. Real quick before I do that one thing I want to say is thank you so much for being a patron of the arts for supporting my channel. There is a PayPal link in my description box and that helps me keep making art videos like this for you. I really appreciate it. Anyone who has donated um, has my humble gratitude and severe appreciation. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And hit the notification bell. That's important. I want to make sure you get every update that I have. The next thing, uh, but right before the results, I wanted to tell you, there's some new things coming up here for Heather Mater Art. I'm working on a few functional art pieces and um, kind of some summary things. So I can't wait to show that to you. The other thing is um, I'm going to start showing some alcohol ink techniques that I've been working with. And I'm not the best alcohol ink artist and I've done a few little things. Saskia and I did a collab, um, but <laughs> I'm not the best at it. I'm still learning. Um, but a couple of mixed media pieces that I think you will probably enjoy. So I'm excited to share those things with you. Um, finally, I just wanted to show you, I actually, I hardly ever do this, but I actually took the camera and did a video of the dried piece. And this is after I swiped. Look how pretty the colors are and how bright the gold is. To get this intense gold look, you need to use the high flow gold. And the golden gold, fluid gold helps a lot, of course, but the high flow is just totally amazing. Um, there's a close up. See, I didn't get a lot of fractals, just a few, but. Um, that's what the swipe look like. There's some really pretty and intense pieces. This piece would look really good in a long hallway over a couch maybe. See, look at the details. It's really pretty. And um, I did lose the white negative space, but I'm okay with it. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you.